In this tutorial, you will learn how Moja can be used to calculate volume in your measurements. Tom wants to measure this mound so he can remove it from the site. First, we need to measure the perimeter. We use straight line to measure the perimeter here, but you can use the path type that best suits your measurement. Once the perimeter is complete, do not stop the measurement. Simply return to the start point and select the new path type titled points. The new points path type allows you to capture elevated points of interest around your measurement. There are two methods to adopt here. Either zigzag around the space inside the perimeter collecting points, or as we did in this demonstration, spiral over the surface. Depending on the elevation of what you're measuring, you may find it easier to use the Moja one without the stick as we did on this site. You don't need to capture as many points as we did here, you can capture as many points as you'd like. Once you've captured enough points, you must return to your starting point for improved accuracy. We can now stop the measurement. Now we can tap the surface view to see the measured space. Underneath, you will also see the surface area and the volume measurement. We can also use the contours view to visualize elevation across the measured space. And finally, we can tap the edit icon to find the cut and fill tool. Once in here, we can figure out the amount we need to cut from the site to flatten it. You can move the slider down below or tap the cut and fill options for exact measurements. You can also tap the net option to find the approximate zero net volume. Next, we will look at this yard with slight elevation changes. Tom is measuring the site to fill in and make level. Again, we start by capturing the perimeter of the area we're measuring. Once complete and at our starting point, we then select the points path type again. On this site, our goal is to cover the whole yard in points to make sure we're capturing those different elevation points as subtle as they may be. We use the grid pattern to collect points on this demonstration, but each site differs. The amount of points you need to collect depends on the amount of elevated points of interest there are. Once you've captured enough points, you can stop the measurement. From here, we can tap the surface view again to see our measurement. We can see the surface area and the volume measurement underneath the diagram. Don't forget, you can also view the contours here. And finally, edit, cut and fill. And in here again, we can move the slider down below or tap the cut and fill options for exact measurements. We can also tap the net to find out the approximate zero net volume. If we return to the edit screen, we can also find the add depth icon. In here, we can either move the slider down below or tap the pen icon to add the exact depth you're after. For example, we could calculate the exact volume of mulch to cover this area with say, six inches across the whole surface. To recap, Measure the perimeter first. Once at a starting point, don't stop the measurement. Select the points path option. Zigzag across or spiral around the space inside the perimeter, collecting as many points as necessary for the different elevation changes. Once you've captured enough points, you must return to your starting point for improved accuracy. Tap the surface view icon to see your completed measurement and volume calculation. You can find additional new tools within the edit menu. 